Behind Scene TV, Jude Falcon on the scene right now. And we are talking about one of my favorite things on the planet, craft beer. We're at the third annual Gap Young Beer Festival right here on Jetty Sam, or known as Turtle Island in South Korea. And I just got to tell you, it's a jam-packed weekend. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Live bands, DJs, hip-hop artists, and food from all over the place. And beer. We've got stouts. We've got peach ales. I just saw a banana beer that I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to get my mouth on that. But uh, I got to tell you, friends, it's super easy to get here. The festival's amazing. The first year, there were maybe 2,000 people. The second year, 10,000. This year, they're anticipating 15 and 20,000 people coming to this festival. It's too late, I know, in America for you to get here, but that's okay, because I assure you, there will be a fourth annual Gap Young Beer Festival. So start making your plans. It always happens in May. We'll keep you updated on the Facebook, Twitter, all those things that social media, our website, and my friends. You don't want to miss the next craft beer festival in Korea. And speaking of which, I'm almost out of beer, so I think I'm gonna have to go back and uh, get myself another. Well, the first Hi, my scene TV. We're live on the scene at the 2017 third annual Gap Young Craft Beer Festival, and I'm here with Michael So, the man with the plan that owns Good Times Rock, and I'm also here with the owner, creator, and founder of Cabrou Brewing Company. Hi, gentlemen. Hi. How's it going? Good. All right. So, How what's you? your name for the people at home so they know yeah, who you this are? This is JJ Park. Okay. The CEO of Cabrou. Right on. Let's right see. on. So before 2015, beer festivals didn't exist, right? They, right. They were, no, no one had ever heard of one. And then you guys came up with this genius idea to have an awesome beer festival out in the country. And then now everyone has stolen your idea, essentially, right? And so there's there's craft, group, there's craft beer companies all over Korea now. But before you guys pioneered the idea, it didn't exist. There wasn't too many at, at that time. Right, so uh, how, did, how did that come to be? How did you come up with the idea? Well, uh, Kabru, uh, three years ago, bro and came up with the idea like let's do something here because their brewery is here in Kapyong. Okay. And so we the first year we did it in Chungpyong, not too far from here, but uh, it turned out very well. Then we just kept going with it after that. It's really exciting, but let's talk about your beers. You know, how did you how did you start brewing beer? Actually I'm not founder of the company. Okay. We, we acquired the company in 2015. But Kabru is one of the I mean the oldest and the largest uh, craft brewery in Korea. And your beer is also quite delicious. <laughs> Thank right. you. I'm a cool. big fan of the Black Cat IPA, my friend. So can people buy your beer outside of Korea? Yes, uh, we are trying to export. So we have some experience to export our beer to Hong Kong and the United States, but not much uh, yeah. at this stage because we didn't have bottle or can beer yet. And uh, Good Times Rock, do you have any big events coming up this year? Uh, oh, we have... Uh... Let's see, we have the Nomad uh, Burn Festival, we have Mud Fest. We got a lot of things going on this year. A lot year. of things, yeah, a lot of things. So, <laughs> since you guys so many things you can't mention, how can people find out more about your events? Oh, all they have to do is go through goodtimesrock.com or uh, go on Facebook, goodtimesrock.gtr, and you can see all the events. And um, it's, good. it's amazing, it's amazing. And so, for Cabrou Beers, where can I find it besides the festival? Do you have it in restaurants in Seoul? Or yes, in we have one. Uh, we have our own shop in Seoul, uh -huh. and we also have our business partner in Nationwide for 600 okay. pubs and wow. uh, restaurants. That's so, amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. And uh, how can they find out more about Do you have a website? Yeah, or? we have a website, and we also have, uh, we try to communicate with the customers through SNS, like Instagram and yeah, Facebook yeah. and stuff like okay. that. So amazing. And we'll, we'll put all those things on the screen so you can find it and check it out. Right. Right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. We're going to go and drink yeah, some more beer. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Right here on my scene.